welcome guys to another episode on our channel today as you can see we will be playing subnautica if you don't know what subnautica is it's a game obviously that is you are you have to survive on a planet that is mostly covered in water with just a few little islands and you know, there are some other things that you have to do but i don't want to spoil them to you so Let's. Uh, well, let's. And oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, it's me, Void6. So let's get into the episode. Sh shall we? So let's start a new game. We will do survival. Oh, and by the way, I already played this game for a lot. Those are my two saves. I got copies. You know, a backup. So let's. Okay, so. We shall do survival. While wow. loading, let's wait. And music in this game is just amazing. I, I love it. Oh, sorry. Attention. Look at that light that just hit me in the face. Okay, that's a very slow loading for such a technological thing. Head trauma. Yeah, you know, I know. This is considered very an optimal outcome. What this PDA good? has now rebooted in emergency yes, mode I with one saw. directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank okay. for detailed survival advice. And, uh, Good yeah. luck. The data bank, the part that I never look at. Okay. Oh, and uh, there, even though I played this game, there will be still some surprises for me because I really did not read any of the stuff that I got. So I will be sh sh reading it and showing it to you. So yeah, yeah, blah 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 blah. I already know all of that. Never read those things actually. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about that. Just okay, so three. Here, there should be some food and water. I will take water. Some food. I want to use that medkit. Oh, yeah, the bear. The, I don't remember how it's called. I think we can find it loud. Sorry. Just turn down the volume. Is that better? I hope it is. Sorry, I have to change one. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Yep. Zero human life. You Science can see detected. that it's destroyed a bit. Okay. So let's get our feet wet. Oh, this is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful game. It has such amazing graphics, and I just used a lot of such a. Oh, that would be useful. That that fish is used New for making water. Discovered. So that that is very useful at the beginning. Alien oh. life forms may have unexpected Some applications. Yes. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Yes, I know. New oh. creature discovered. Limestone, titanium. That's also very useful. Uh, I don't like holding the fish in my hand. Is there anything I would like to get? Oxygen. Oh, yep. I forgot I got so used to playing this with the best possible air tank and things like that that the oxygen was barely a problem for me. Yeah, oh yeah, this music is amazing. 
I hope you can hear it too. Come here, little Gary. Gary fish. Okay, so what do I need at the moment? I don't really remember, but first, titanium. Water, let's make it because water is very useful because you need it to lift and let it at paper. I think that's how you pronounce it. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structures, bodily fluids, I don't know and that. internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Yummy. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic oh, things I can to be make repulsed by eating air tank. an animal carcass. That's a very Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. Yep. You can too. Now we have more oxygen. That's good. That's amazing. New blueprint. I'm going to need. Okay. Okay. For you. Cave sulfur and silicon rubber. Okay, that's easy. Battery and titanium. That's a very important thing to get. Okay, let's go looking for... The, the copper, because copper is needed for batteries. Okay, there, here's a cave. Oh, oh yeah, some cave silver. Oh, I don't know. I hate those fishes. They hurt so much. Yeah, they're too fast. Oh, wow, wow. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Why do they have to be so nasty? Oh yeah, copper. copper. Is an essential component I really do need that. Equipment. Your probability of survival has just okay, increased to unlikely, but plausible. Yes, that's very, very optimistic, CDA. I really needed to know that my possibility of surviving increased from impossible to I don't remember what it said. That's barely possible. So, so we are not going to try to speedrun this or anything like that. We just do the casual game. Okay. Yes, exactly. And the battery. Amazing. Now what did we else do with else? Oh, I hope now I can make the scanner. Now let's try to make the repair too. I the need silicon can be rubber and Okay. From salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Okay. Oh yeah, the animation. I forgot I did not go to the bottom yet, so let's scan the rabbit ray. It's such a cool fish. I'm like sad that it runs away. It's okay. Oh yeah, there's the kelp. By the way, do that and boost yourself, but it uses a lot of the fuel. Weed. Yes. Mm. Oh, a rag that's very useful if you don't know because you can find blueprints in here. Maybe we will get light. Oh yeah, a fragment. I need one more. Siglite would be very handy. Oh, I see a graft trap, a beacon. Yes, that's useful. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's scan the graph trap and now the peak. So I am planning to build a big base somewhere on this world, just as I did in my first world, because I like building. Oh, a fish. Me. So and I really hope you enjoyed the video so far and the game because I love this game it's with this game and Minecraft are my two favorite games so I just yeah we find some oh uh, one sec let's get some more rewind and run away the thing that really makes this game harder on this with one the Minecraft and diverse, is kind of harder. First, it's even worse with the equipment you can, like inventory. You can get more than this in your equipment, and mm, nothing stacks. 
stuff. That w that is making me even worse at organizing my stuff in the inventory. No, let's get it into the base. I remember my first time where I couldn't find any sulfur and I wasn't ma able to make the repair tool. But now we should be able to make it once we make some silicon rubber. Some more silicon rubber. Let's just make even more silicon rubber. Maybe some lubricant. Some more lubricant. Now the titanium. Yeah. So, I got not really a schedule, but a plan how I will be like, putting out those videos. I decided that I will make uh, like mm, two videos of uh, Subnautica and two videos, videos of Minecraft Survival. Weapons were removed and from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. Uh, and the one the only video of trail makers. So that's kind of the plan. Can I just move this? Oh my gosh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to do that. Could you just go in here? Thank you. That was really hard. Let's fix the the our safe. Life pod secondary yes, system. The radio and telemetry. This is a warning. The stress signal is saying rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, nine, nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Oh, I just realized something. There are two places, two seats. You can't do anything with them, but I thought there was only one seat. So that's good to know. Okay. Is there anything I could make in here? Oh, maybe I unlocked fins. Did I? Did I know? When do I unlock this? Oh no, I have fins. Yes, that will make me faster. Underwater. The fabricator draws from Water. available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Okay. Let's go into the water. This is not as like Minecraft that in the night time there are some more creatures that want to eat you, so I can safely swim around at night. It's only very dark, and I kind of feel like you won't, you will be able to see even less than I can now because the more I know, YouTube really darkens those videos. So. I don't, and I, let me just look if there's maybe a gamma setting in the game, in graphics that would probably be, or in general. Is there any gamma? No. That's kind of sad. Are there, are you sure? No. No. Well then, we won't have gamma. Gamma, gamma up, so I will have to look in darkness and you won't be able to see. If you know a way to change the gamma in Subnautica then let me know because I would do that so you could see more night darkness since I don't have any kind of light at the moment. I will have a sig light when I get one and it has a light so maybe then we'll be able to see but at the moment it's dark but I love how everything is blurring at me and everything glows just so beautiful, it really looks like some kind of heaven. I definitely a heaven for me, I love water, I just love it. I love swimming, I love water in real life, even though I never went like really diving, but I would love to see some. Yes, castle, but I do not want to get close to those balls, they can very quickly kill you. So also in this game, um, you want, well, you might still see die a lot, but not as much as at the beginning of me playing, because I now know what wants to eat me and what doesn't, which kind of helps. Oh my gosh, oh yeah, there's a wreck. Maybe I will find a part for the sig light now. I just need to drink some water. 
up my blood. Why did I just say drink some water? I meant breathe some air. Okay, wait. There was a wrecking ball. Here it is. Big one or small one? Small one. Give me a sea glide, please. Please. Rough, rough. I don't really need that at the moment, but might be useful. It helps with catching fishes because it's a thing that makes like catches species that they swim around it and they can't go away. Oh, and then if I scan now, I will get titanium. Really? No sea glide fragments. Oh. Quicker they, I can't really. They come quicker, I can't really see that much. How far is it? Uh, yeah, it looks like this sometimes. Night still. Let's go down. We're going deeper underwater. Maybe. No. Okay. Where is Aurora? Aurora is the big ship, if you didn't know. The one that is just over there. Okay, this way there should be more wrecks. That I can find a Siglite fragment. Oh, I really hope that you can see anything. Oh, a bladder fish and some peppers. That will be useful. Thank you, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I think we are entering grassy places. There are sand sharks in here. I won't be going this way. I will maybe go here. How far from Aurora are we? I don't want to get too close. If I know correctly, there's a reaper there. And even if you don't know Subnautica, you should know kind of how a reaper looks. If you watched my last video where I showed my reaper in Trailmakers. Okay, it's oh, finally it's daytime. Oh. What took you so long, son, to come up here? Okay, now you can see more. I can see more. Everyone is happy. Yay. Okay, I see some limestone. Copper. The copper is the, one of the most useful resources at the beginning because you can't get that lot of it and your batteries, like they Detecting lose batteries very quickly. Oh. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core. Yeah. Sustained during planet I won't be getting too close to Aurora, I forgot that there's radiation. Yeah, that radiation is not seconds. a nice thing. So now I will be able to find wrecks. How did I come back to my sh to my lifeboat? I did not plan to do that. I really need a speed line. The swimming is so slow. There are some clouds, there are some clouds. If you know what is behind those clouds, right? Uh, cloud in the comment. Don't tell the one people who don't know. Okay. No, no. no. Uh, where did that crashfish go? I don't understand that crashfish, but okay. It did not anything bad to me so I won't mind but I saw some quartz there and quartz is very useful I for some reason in my world always had pro my wo other world always had problems with quartz that's probably because I use a lot like I mean a lot of glass and you make glass out of quartz so Pro that's probably why I don't really have a lot. And I used all of the resources, pretty much all of the resources in this biome, in the safe shallows. Because you know, no, the entire game isn't that easy. Yet. No. Yes, Siglite. Yes, 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 please. Yes, what do I need for that? Uh, yes, let's check. Uh, blueprints, Siglite. Siglite, where are you? Here, battery, copper wire. How much copper do I have? Precise. Two. Damn, I need one more copper. Because copper wire is two copper, and I only have one. 
like I have two copper but I need a battery and I won't take a battery from this or this even though I could yeah I remember this this is the perfect place for collecting stuff at the beginning in my world it very quickly just got empty yeah. oh no I need some place for it again I need some water to drink okay yes let's go I would like to get more stuff but that's okay so now let's go back to life pot grip grab ourselves a sea glide and do some stuff with the sea glide by the way mm, the, my other world which took me two days to finish the, it did not really took me that long to finish it just was i could have done that faster but i just enjoyed playing so i was doing like weird stuff for example um, eating fish into the sky we will see that later when I have the fish eater, as I like to call it. So now we can make some water. That is also useful, always useful. I know. Now we can cook it. Oh no, we don't need it at the moment. Let's make mm, a battery and a copper wire. So we can have a sea glide and swim faster. Okay, yes, and now in tools, I think. No, deployables. Yes, Siglite, even though, though it's not deployable, but still, it's a Siglite. I love Siglite. And maybe. The Siglite will increase your effective exploration okay, range. No, okay. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Now it's empty, uh, we're in inventory a bit lots of stuff on us okay don't need a lot of sulfur oh we we've got a message message you play the this is life pod three uploading our coordinates we're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide so if we're late for the rendezvous don't panic also don't go home without us seriously three out Wow. Signal location uploaded to that's, PDA. That's just mean. They got the free sea glide and we didn't. Nah. Okay, let's go there. It's not that far away. Oh yeah, yeah, you have to look. Let's turn off the map. I never use it, but I want the light. Oh no. Turn off everything so it doesn't drain our battery. That is a smart move. Okay, I'm trying to remember where the have my base last time. But right now I see some limestone. I don't think they gain my I would prefer some copper, but okay. Let's go. I remember that I had my base next to a the kelp for rest. Oh that uh, I did not know that this is here. I know about another thermal vent in the uh, in this biome, but I did not have know about that. Wow, it looks different. I don't remember this map looking like this. Wait, what? I don't remember life pod not this black thing. And that is so close and that is in kelp forest. Yes I know the cut but I will do that. Hmm. I thought that and the map is always the same today. I'm here last time. Oh, I've got a radio message. Maybe later. Where is the place to swim from? It's kind of black. Okay. Then the PDA. We will read that. Integrating new PDA okay. data. And what did the lock send? Compass. Compass is useful. That's good. New blueprint. Okay, let's acquired. go and read the thing. So, mm, data bank not here it's in uh, data downloads Aurora survivals life pod 3 oh we can listen to that yeah, yes I don't have you really, really think it'll carry two of us your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour the power seller rig to this one should double that you think there's something out there that's faster I'm sure and that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod you're calm about this 
I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Well, they wanted to boost the semester, right? Oh, that's a green stalker. I know what that means, you probably don't, so I won't spoil that. Let's scan him. Uh, so we have him. Yes. Let's scan myself. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Okay, keep monitoring. Let's gather some salt. And get right back to base after I scan this. So those guys from the tree tried to boost their sig light and as we can see that did not do as good for them. Like, uh, I don't see them alive anyway and their life what is bro destroyed. Well why did they not go to the safe shelves if this is so close? Nothing would have killed them here. Well, except those good crush fishes. That's, I hate crush fish. Okay, so let's get back into life pod. And I think that will be the ending of this episode because it's kind of getting long. Like 26 minutes. That's that's that would be my longest episode, I think. So, Okay, floaters, are, they are dangerous. Okay. The terrain loaded. Let's get right here. Okay, so we've got some. Let's uh, listen to this message. May I re record a distress call? This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal okay. I know where they are. That's the good part. They're next to a biome that I really like, but you will see it tomorrow. So, well, that's a good cliffhanger. So now, let's and the episode i hope you, i hope you enjoyed i certainly did it's amazing to start this game again well i hope to see you in the next video and bye